welcome to the Disney News Show. Here's your host, Corellis Fur Coat. Yes, this is the Disney News Show. I am Joe Winton, aka Corellis Fur Coat, and this is episode 54 for Sunday, the 18th of November, 2012. Now, I really hope everyone enjoyed last week's episode of the Disney News Show, which was live from Disneyland Paris. I had such good fun doing that one. It's been great to hear some feedback from you guys about that episode, and I think it, it was just so much fun to do, obviously. I had the castle in the background, it was really, really great, and if you've not seen that, that was last week, so it was episode 53 of this new show, and that means I was in Disneyland Paris last week, I'm not there now, and um, although it's a shame to be back, I, um, um, I had such a good time in Disneyland Paris, it's so much fun, and I am actually going back in, um, in December, in New Year, so um, it's not... Not all that bad, but there we go. So, um, Disneyland Paris was last week. I did actually buy quite a bit of stuff from Disneyland Paris, as you would expect. It's me, I, I buy lots of stuff. And um, I will be doing that, hopefully, in a separate video. I was going to show it today, but then I decided um, it takes up too much time in the news show, and I just like to get straight to the news. So, any merchandise and stuff that I bought from Paris, I'll be showing in a different video. So, stay tuned for that if you are interested. I also mentioned in last week's video about the Christmas Cavalcade, which started at Disneyland Paris um, during, not last week, the week before. And I actually uploaded a video the other day about, um, well, of that, of the full parade of the Cavalcade. So you can go and check that out. I'll link will be down below. So if you're interested in the new Christmas Cavalcade at Disneyland Paris, I filmed it from Main Street. And I think it, um, it's a fantastic um, little parade that they're putting on for this holiday season. So go and check that out if you're interested. Um, all the information, as I said, down below. But yeah, apart from that, um, that has been pretty much all that happened this week. I've not done any other, other videos. Um, just such a mad week getting all back up to date after um, Paris. But, as you know, um, always you can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Corellas Fur Coat. Link will be down below to that as well. So be sure to go and follow me on Twitter if you are um, on Twitter. Or if not, then I've Hope you still enjoy these updates. Um, it's I've been getting some fantastic feedback over the last few weeks about the new show, and I really love to hear from you guys. So as always, do not forget to leave comments, questions, feedback, all that kind of stuff. You guys just are what make the show, and I really, really enjoy um, reading what you guys have to say. I love it when um, I get uh, feedback, when I get some positive comments and stuff like that. It's just great, and it makes it all worthwhile. So thank you so much to anyone if you sent in any feedback, anything like that. Um, this week then, or any time really. Thank you so much for you guys um, for for that and and so and I've also been um, contacted a couple of times this week actually about doing an updated Disney DVD and Blu-ray collection video um, which I'm sorry I've not got around to that in quite a while now, it's been since the summer I don't think I've done an update. So um, it's kind of been because I've not really bought that many DVDs and Blu-rays um, over the past few weeks, months. Um, so that's why I've not really done an update, but I will definitely do one for you guys if that's what you're wanting. And so check out for that in the next week or two. I will definitely get that out to you guys um, very, very soon. But yeah, um, apart from that, new episode of the Mini Minx is this week, and it was all to do with Disneyland California. Go and check that out. Um, as always, link is down below again to the Mini Minx's um, fantastic Disney podcast. I mean, my favourite. I don't know about you guys, but just a fantastic show, and they had on... Um, some really cool stuff about um, Disneyland California this week, which, um, of course, I haven't visited, as I say, all the time. But um, there we go. And so I don't want to talk too much about it. You go. You go and check out Mini Minx if you're interested. And um, so that is that. I think that's all I've got to report for this week. And we're going to get straight on to the Walt Disney World news. And it was announced earlier this year that um, there will be a Starbucks coming to each of the American Disney parks in the near future. And this week, we actually got um, the announcement of the new Starbucks coming to Magic Kingdom and Epcot uh, next year. And um, when it when it was first announced, people were kind of not, not too bad about this. This was, um, it, people saw this as a good thing. I mean, Starbucks is very popular and um, people thought, okay, yeah, Starbucks and parks, no problem. Um, no big deal there. But this week, outrage, as you would expect, when the location for the Magic Kingdom's Starbucks was announced. And it will be at the Main Street Bakery, of course, on Main Street. And um, I know this was announced a week ago, so it's pretty much old news now, but 
I have not assessed what my feelings are about this. <laughs> so that'll be coming in very soon, but yeah. Main Street Bakery at the Magic Kingdom and Fountain View at Epcot. That'll be next year from um, January. I think the Main Street Bakery is closing, opening in early summer. Fountain View closing in um, in March, reopening in midsummer. So yeah, that's all happening next year. But I cannot really express how sad I really am that the Main Street Bakery is is changing to Starbucks and. Um, for me, the Main Street Bakery is a wonderful, wonderful little um, little place to go and get breakfast um, at the Magic Kingdom, and we we love it. I mean, we go pretty much every time we've been to the Magic Kingdom for a day. Um, we would say we're not having breakfast at the hotel. We are going to the Main Street Bakery just to get one of them cinnamon rolls or, or whatever. Not just the cinnamon rolls, but you know. And I think that the Main Street Bakery is just it's such a a cute little shop at, not shop, um, cafe, should we call it, cafe, and I think it's so much part of Main Street, such a big part of what Main Street is, and I think that if the fact that they're getting rid of it, well they're not getting rid of it, I will come on to that in a second, but I really don't think that um, that was the best choice for them, and I think Disney would have known that the fans would have been outraged by this, as we are, and as you would expect. I mean, people are excited, yes, we can get Starbucks in, um, in Magic Kingdom now, but I think just the location is more is more of the big deal. And um, I, they have actually mentioned this week that the Main Street Bakery will be keeping its name. I guess it'll be called something like the Main Street Bakery by Starbucks or whatever. You never know. Um, so something like that. But for me, I would I would prefer they to, them to go somewhere else. I mean, it would have fit maybe nicely in Tomorrowland somewhere like that. Uh, maybe on the Tomorrowland Terrace or somewhere somewhere like kind of secluded. Not this big. Starbucks on Main Street. I mean, yeah, it's just it's just a bit um, a bit annoying, really. And um, I know we've not seen what's going to happen. And they have actually mentioned there will be a couple of um, of the Disney items, of the classic Disney items that you can get from the bakery, will still be available in the Starbucks. But um, but yeah, I mean, the bakery is 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 just one place, and there's, it's really an exclusive kind of venue and an exclusive Disney experience. Whereas Starbucks, I can go five minutes down the road and get a Starbucks, even here in the UK, and um, Starbucks is everywhere, and really, I, d I don't know, we'll, we'll have to wait and see, and as with all these Disney partnerships, I'm not sure how long this is going to last, and so there we go, but as I said, that is um, a bit of my rant for this week, <laughs> is that Starbucks is coming to Main Street uh, Bakery, Fountain View at um, Epcot Future World, not too bothered about that, I think it'll be integrated quite well into there and um, for me personally, Fountain View, um, I don't think I've even eaten there, I don't think it's just a cafe isn't it, so I've not eaten there, but um, but there we go, uh, that is the first bit of news and sorry for rambling on a bit about that, but next up, um, Disney's newest night time entertainment show, Celebrate the Magic, premiered at Magic Kingdom this week. And I spoke about this last week, and it rep, um, replaces the Magic, the Memories, and You, and is actually um, really quite different from uh, from that uh, previous show. And uh, the the Magic Memories and You used to use the PhotoPass photos collected from that day of people um, guests at the Magic Kingdom. Um, I'm not sure if it was all around what Disney World. I think it was just Magic Kingdom. Um, so that was. Um, that was that. This one is much more about the Disney stories and about the um, the classic Disney films. And um, in some ways, it's quite similar to Disney Dreams in the fact that it kind of just interweaves throughout many different movies, um, such as um, you've got Lion King in there, you've got Pirates of the Caribbean, Brave, Toy Story, um, Jungle Book, all these kind of things. Even Wreck-It Ralph, I was quite impressed to see that in there. Um, Dumbo, uh, Around, all these different ones um, and so that that's kind of like that but there's not really an overriding story as there is in Disney Dreams and uh, the effects are spectacular they're absolutely fantastic the um, the whole the whole design is, is really incredible but it's not it's not really like Dreams if you've seen Dreams you know what I'm talking about but um, so it's that kind of thing and there is no use of the water um, projection kind of thing as you know that, that, that kind of signifies the water production. Um, there is not as many fireworks as I was expecting. I would expect them to be more fireworks. As you know, Dreams is kind of integrated fireworks throughout all, I mean, it's, it's there 
all the time, uh, fireworks. Possibly because you've still got wishes going on at Magic Kingdom, whereas there's no separate uh, fireworks show. Actually, that hadn't um, crossed my mind yet, but yes, I think it's probably because of that. But I was maybe expecting to see still a couple more uh, fireworks than we do have in um, Celebrate the Magic. But it also looks fantastic. There's new projectors, everything. I mean, it just looks top notch, and the actual special effects, really fantastic. So there we go. Um, Celebrate the Magic is now showing every or at least most nights, at the Magic Kingdom. Uh, one next piece of news now for Walt Disney World. And on Thursday, free guest Wi-Fi was introduced to Disney's Animal Kingdom, meaning that all of the four parks at Walt Disney World are equipped with complimentary Wi-Fi. So that is great news. You've now got all the parks, as well as the two water parks, I think, both the water parks are done, um, are equipped with free Wi-Fi. The only place left to go now is Downtown Disney, which we are pretty sure will be done by the end of the year. So that I mean, obviously all the resorts were done quite a while ago. Um, but there we go. All the parts done now, just Downtown Disney to go on free Wi-Fi. Okay, so next up on the Walt Disney World news this week is that new info regarding next year's Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival has been announced this week. And it looks like there's going to be a tie-in to um, the new Disney movie, Oz the Great and Powerful, and um, it looks like it's going to be a new kind of interactive play area for kids um, based around um, kind of a circus theme, which if you've seen the trailer for Oz the Great and Powerful, you'll know that there's kind of, um, it's all about the Wizard of Oz and how he comes from Kansas and he was um, a magician at a circus, and so it's all kind of like that. There's carnival games, all that kind of stuff, and it's cool how they're they're introducing or integrating, should I say, um, the the two things: the new movie Oz Great and Powerful with the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. But then um, that you kind of say that doesn't really have much to do with the the festival. But then for um, for for guests, there's going to be a new um, garden with kind of unusual plants based around the th ones that we're going to see in the movie, so the ones you might find in Oz. So that's quite cool. I think there's kind of, for kids, there's that play area, and then for adults, there's going to be the, the it's not only um, an exhibition, but the new garden, a new garden regarding, um, regarding Oz and, um, and the flowers of plants that you're going to find there. So that's really cool, and um, I'll be looking forward to seeing um, the kind of plants that they actually do get um, to be featured in their garden. So yeah, I will keep you up to date with that. Any more information um, about the International Flower and Garden Festival, which starts on March 6th, 2013. Okay, um, next up, the Grand Floridian, or Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, has been undergoing a large refurbishment over the past few months, as I've been talking about um, in previous episodes. And um, another aspect of the resort is set to reopen after its refurbishment very soon. Um, the Census Spa um, will be reopening on December 17th and um, has been fully remodelled or reimagined into kind of a Victorian setting. So this looks really cool. I've seen a couple of um, a couple of images, photos from the new spa, and it looks really really great. And you can um, you can now actually book um, for uh, treatments at the spa by calling 407 WDW Spas and you can uh, book in for uh, for treatments from December um, 4, should I say, for December 17th or later. And it's actually great because all the spas um, at Walt Disney World are becoming owned and operated by Disney. And so um, we're going to see that from the Grand Floridian and onwards by December no, sorry, January 16th, I think it is, all the spas at Walt Disney World will be owned by uh, and operated by Disney. So that is fantastic. And I think it was also announced this week that the Saragota Springs Spa, um, spa at Saragota Springs, will be um, closing for a refurbishment on January 16th, um, obviously when Disney gets ownership of that. So um, that is great news there. So I'll keep you posted on any more news to do with the spas or to do with the Grand Floridian um, as I get it. Okay, um, one last bit of news now from Walt Disney World. And on Friday, the Santa meet and greet at Downtown Disney um, opened at the Marketplace, very close to the World of Disney store at Downtown Disney. And it will be... Um, 
available now until December 24th on Fridays and Saturdays from 12pm till 10pm and from Sundays through Thursdays from 5pm to 10pm. So um, there we go, a way to go and meet Santa. If you're not in the parks, go to Downtown Disney, you can go and meet Santa there. Okay, so we're now moving on to some other news. And I actually didn't know where to put this piece of news. It kind of kind of goes in parks, but it kind of goes in TV, and it's like, where did I put it? But it's actually been rumoured this week that Disney-owned ABC, the um, ABC channel in the US, um, is looking to produce a TV series based on the Disney Parks attraction, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. And this is really quite interesting news because... Um, it actually would be the first time that a Disney attraction would be made into a TV series. Of course, we've had the um, the movies from um, Haunted Mansion, Country Bear Jamboree, um, Tower of Terror, and of course the Pirates of the Caribbean series. But um, it will be really interesting to see if this actually um, comes um, to pass. And I would love to actually watch this TV series. I think they could do some fantastic stuff with Big Thunder Mountain. And they've apparently already got some um, some writers on board. Disney's already got some writers um, on board to do the the writing of the show, obviously. And so that is really interesting. And I will keep you guys up to date with any more information that comes um, to do with the Big Thunder Mountain TV series. But at the moment, as I say, it's only a rumour. We're not too sure what's happening there, but it would be fantastic, maybe, maybe fantastic, if they did actually decide to make a TV series. Okay, next up today, the sequel to Disney's um, Epic Mickey, called Epic Mickey 2 The Power of Two, is released on Wii, Wii U, Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. So, there we go, the, um, the long-awaited sequel, I should say, um, to um, Epic Mickey it has been released today. And um, it looks really fantastic. Of course, there's that whole Oswald the Rabbit thing uh, integrated into there, and I think it's really, really cool. And I possibly maybe checking this one out. I'm not sure. I didn't play the first one. I'm not a big gamer, so we'll have to wait and see. But it looks like some really cool Disneyland and general Disney history in there to um, to have a go at. So who knows? It looks really, really interesting. And so there we go. So that is pretty much all the Disney news I've got for you this week. Not too much actually, well lots of Walt Disney World news and um, not too much else this week. But I really hope you enjoyed it. This has been the Disney News Show, it's been episode 54 for Sunday the 18th of November 2012 for me, Joe Worthington aka Quellers the Coat. I hope you tune in for more Disney videos all the time here on my channel. Be sure to go and check out the DLP Christmas Cavalcade that I uploaded this week. and. All of the stuff that I mentioned at the start. Don't forget to leave me any comments, questions, any feedback. What do you think about Starbucks coming to the Main Street Bakery? Let me know. So, there we go. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you soon. Goodbye.